Here we go. Kevin Durant yesterday made a little bit of a faux pas, or maybe he didn't, depending on your point of view. Kevin's a pretty savvy guy. He was asked who his top five teammates were, reeled off all the guys that you would expect, and then had to backtrack and say, oh, wait a minute, hang on a second. That dude I played with in OKC, I should have, <laughs> I should have mentioned him. Initially left Russell Westbrook off the list, but he atoned. He put him right back on. So in that vein, we're going to ask Key, who his top five teammates were at all of his stops in the NFL and at the USC Trojans. We're going to go day by day, team by team. We will start today <laughs> with Key's top five teammates with the New York Jets. Number five. This guy you wouldn't know unless she was a diehard New York Jet fan, but this is a close friend of mine. It's like a brother. We 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 live together in L.A. We played college ball together, high school ball together. We were roommates at the New York Jets. We both got drafted at the same time. Christopher Hayes, primarily a special teams player that played with me in 1996. We actually cut him. He left. Went to the Green Bay Packers, won the Super Bowl in 1996 with them. Bill Parcells comes back in and trades a pick to get him to bring him back to play for <laughs> us because that's how dominant he was wow. on the special team side. And you know how Bill values oh, the yeah. special team side. Number four. Number four is a guy named Brian Cox, mm. middle linebacker, number 51 with the big, tall neck roll, intimidating. <laughs> He came to us from the Miami Dolphins. Bill said to me when we signed, he said, man, you're going to like this guy. And he was that sounding board to a degree for me on the sidelines to just keep everything nice and easy. And when things wasn't going well, he was the guy to fire me up to go get into the coach's ass to tell them <laughs> they've got to get me the ball. So B. Cox would be like, yo, 19. <laughs> you better, you know, and so it was one of those deals. But do not stand next to Brian Cox in Buffalo because you will get hit with a frozen battery. They couldn't stand him with the Buffalo Bills. Number three. Aaron Glenn is my number three guy. A.G. A.G. played with me, the Dallas Cowboys, as well as here at the New York Jets. Phenomenal, underrated defensive back. Can run with the wind, the best of them. Our lockdown corner when we had our great years here in New York, who is now the defensive coordinator of the Detroit Lions. I mean, he's like a brother again. We have a relationship to this day. So he was also one of my favorites. Number two. Number two is my favorite Martin, Curtis Martin. <laughs> I remember when we got Curtis, Bill, I asked Bill, I said, man, why are you trading Adrian Morrell? And he goes, you just let me do this. I know what I'm doing. You're going to love this guy. I'm like, Bill, it's the same. You're getting the same statistics. He's going to give you the 13, 1,400 yards that Adrian Morrell gave us. And he's like, no, it's different, Key. And I didn't understand what he meant by that, but it was different. It, it was just different. He gave us basically the same numbers, but it was how he gave it to us. It was the, it was the 5, the 8, then rip off 20. Then it was a rip off of 20, then a 5 and an 8, where Adrian might rip off a 60, but then lose – yardage in the process so it's kind of like i got it but just as a total person curtis martin favorite for sure mm. number one vinnie testaverde how could it not be a quarterback to a receiver i mean vinnie <laughs> vinnie again when we signed vinnie in the in its training camp bill said to me i got a surprise for you and i'm like what the hell are you talking about yeah like, i'm not telling you i'm not telling you and I, for some reason, kept thinking they were talking about Rodney Pete mm -hmm. because Dan Henning coached Rodney Pete, and he loved Rodney Pete. And, and I just, for some reason, I kept thinking they were talking about Rodney Pete. And then it was Vinny Testaverde. And I'm like, oh, blankety, blankety, blank. We got mm -hmm. Vinny. Now, Vinny didn't start the beginning of the year. Glenn Foley started, and I think we went either two and three or three and two or whatever it was, and then Vinny took over. And that was the rest was history. My career was born as a New York Jet in 1998 with Vinny Testaverde at the starting quarterback position. So if I'm a Jet fan, I'm not a Jet fan, but I know a lot of Jet fans. Uh, they might be curious on the order of number two and number one. I just want to mention number two is a gold jacket. And then number two is also the sixth all time leading rusher in the history of the NFL. Yeah, it's it's. It's my list, <laughs> yeah, I got and it's my players that I interacted with and had friendships with along the way, and I endured and enjoyed watching them play. 
It, had not, it has nothing to do with who has a gold jacket or not a gold mm-hmm. jacket or mm-hmm. whose statistics are better at the stop or anything like that. This is just my list. And then there's, you know, the list can grow because I got along with all my teammates. We were all just great. Jumbo Elliott could be on the list. As a left tackle, I loved being able to team up with him on double downs on defensive ends up to middle linebackers when I had to scrape to the top when we were blocking. It was He blocked for me, but – Jumbo doesn't make the list. Yeah. And it's just what it is. Now, Key, how many of those guys on that list would you characterize as Bill Parcells guys? Because just because they play for Parcells don't mean they're one of his guys. So every, many, every last person every, on that list. Everyone on that list. Every that was last, a Parcells guy. Every last one was a – think about it. He traded back for Chris Hayes. Mm-hmm. After we got rid of him with Richie Kotai, a year later, <laughs> Bill <laughs> trades – I think he <laughs> traded a six-round <laughs> pick to get the dude back. And then think about it. He, we went through all of that for Curtis Martin, mm-hmm. everything. We went through everything to get Curtis Martin. They gave a picks, the whole deal. He drafted Curtis from Pittsburgh to New England. Then he brought in Vinny Testaverde. And Aaron Glenn, he inherited. But then he went and got AG to come with us in Dallas. Yeah. So when you start to look at the, all those guys, all those guys, Brian Cox, he signed B. Cox. Yeah. He brought in B. Cox to play linebacker alongside Pepper Johnson and Marvin Jones. We should also mention that we're going to do this for all of Key's other teams, the Bucks, the Cowboys, Carolina, and we will do it. I better make that Cowboys list. Yeah, I, I better yeah. make that Cowboys list. Yeah, I, I, I better make that list. Yeah. 